Sagittarius, welcome to October 2018 uh, monthly tarot reading. Uh, first of all, there have been some changes on Instant Go. And that's one way of, of reaching me. You can chat with me for free there. And then we can, you know, decide what uh, service is best for you. Or you can check out my products there. Uh, also, you can reach me on my personal website at... Um, I mean, all of that is listed below this video. Uh, the links are for your convenience. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading is going to resonate with all of you. So here is the card at the bottom of the deck, the theme. So we've got a little Saturn energy going on here. Okay, now the devil card, a lot of people don't like this card, but to me it doesn't bother me because it's... It, first of all, it also means Capricorn. Some of you might be having a relationship with Capricorn. It also means business. Some of you might be thinking about going into business or, uh, or expanding in business. Um, it, it does represent temptation. You know, maybe somebody is over trying to over empower you um, or um, is trying to uh, maybe persuade you to go a certain way that is only for uh, their benefit. So let's just see how this plays out uh, in the reading. So, and it also may have a lot to do with here. When I when I look at the Nine of Wands, okay, um, this card here represents something that is, is quite stressful. Um, and you've got the Hermit card next to it, which is... Uh, also represents Virgo, but what I'm feeling is there's some silence going on. So some of you have a relationship with a Capricorn, for example. There may be some distance right now. Uh, both of you, you know, holding on to uh, your belief. Um, but uh, I do feel with the Ace of Cups, you know, this is some, I, I'm, I'm getting that this has something to do with the love relationship. And uh, it could be, it could also could be your moon or rising Sagittarius. Like I said, it could be um, uh, someone that you're dating or, or you know, is your partner is, is Capricorn or it could be their moon or rising. But there's deception here, okay? As we're moving along here with this uh, stressful situation, this distance between the two of you, uh, standing up for what you feel is right. Uh, you've got the Ace of Cups, which is telling me it has something to do with love. Now, this could be a love that just began. It could be a new love, or it could be a reconciliation. But here we've got the Moon card, and the Moon card is telling me, uh, be careful here, because not all that's being promised is actually true here. Okay, I just feel like there's a lot of deception here. I almost feel like some of you are being controlled by this energy. And I feel like there needs to be, um, also what I'm getting here is there needs to be an open, an openness in regards to communication. So there needs to be some decisions to be made, but I feel like you need to clear the air with this. I feel like if you bring this, this out, whether or not the relationship manifests any further, you're going to feel a lot lighter, okay? Or whoever else is listening in on this video that might be listening to Sagittarius' reading. Because the Nine of Cups, is, is this is your wish card. This is bringing a lot of light and happiness to the situation. Now, also some of you, this is you, fire, but some of you might also be having a relationship with another fire sign. Okay, I feel like what I'm getting here is I feel like the love, um, the love has an opportunity to mature, but I'm, you know what, I'm getting a long distance relationship just popped in on this reading here. Some of you might be dating someone who is, who is not close by that may be far. Okay, there may have been some issues or some feeling of not trusting this person. Uh, I'm not saying that you can't. I do feel like there is some deception, but I also feel like this relationship can grow, okay? Now, that goes for both the long-distance relationship that I'm feeling and also, uh, you know, 
the ones who are having issues right now um, with a bit of deception. So here, here I feel like there is a move, okay? Whether this is a physical move or an emotional move, it also has to do with cancer, okay? But there is something here that you're quite disappointed about that's coming in October. But I feel that that is going to change for you. It's going to change. I would What I would do is just let this ride itself out because Venus is also going to be retrograde uh, part of my part of October and so I feel like you just might want to let this right out because I do feel like things uh, get better here okay um, I do feel like the universe has got something for you to look at okay so there are signs and omens that I feel for you in October Sagittarius that I feel like you need to look at okay now you've got fire you've got uh, earth Virgo you've got Capricorn uh, you've also got water here uh, in your reading. Uh, some of you might actually be uh, involved with the Pisces uh, because this is what I get with the Page of Cups. Um, I'm feeling like this relationship could be where the, where you're older, they're younger, or vice versa. Um, I feel like you're also calling this, this Piscean or this water sign out. On some situation that took place but I feel like it's going to correct itself I, I really don't feel that there needs to be um, walking away from anybody I feel like this can straighten itself out okay there's a new new beginnings here new journey uh, you, uh, you know I would work on October uh, being a month of just really feeling out and, and knowing your direction knowing what it is you want Okay, that, that's important. Um, also, to some of you Sagittarians, I feel there needs to be a bit more um, love for self, respect for self, uh, and then, you know, also love and respect for others. Uh, I'm not saying that some of you Sagittarians don't love and respect people, but when I get this card, it's saying that you know, some of you might actually be down or disappointed about your love life. And you can spice it up by bringing self-love to you. And whatever you become, whatever you are, that's kind of what's going to help create your outer world too. So after you go through this, you may decide, mm, I don't really want to get involved in this situation anymore. Um, you might decide that walking a different direction the full card might be a better choice. Uh, however, you can change yourself. You can always, you cannot change another. Let's go ahead and look at some. Uh, I, I've got the tea leaf cards out here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull two. I've got two separate decks, so I had to shuffle them separately. Okay, let's see what what they have. What's the message here? Well, it's the moon. So it's it's kind of like receiving you've got the moon up here, okay? This this is saying that this is you know, you have to be careful. Maybe some of you want to move from a neighborhood that doesn't feel safe, okay? Or maybe some of you've got some followers or some stalkers that I do suggest that you um uh, try to take care of rather than ignore it. Uh I wouldn't uh, go up to the person. I would just ask authority to help you there um, but also too I'm feeling like you know especially we've got the devil card here uh, be careful that someone doesn't lead you on a, a journey uh, making you believe that you know all these beautiful things can happen and then you're deceived along the way uh, you know, you could lose money here. You could lose love. You could be extremely disappointed. Also, be careful of scammers, uh, both in love and business. So the moon card is about changes in your life. So October, it's kind of, a, you know, a, a, a stepping stone, I feel, to uh, continue with the changes that you've already uh, begun uh, or begin to uh, look at what your transformation is about in in October because I do feel that uh, it can be good um, 
Now, we've got the elephants. I love elephants. There's such good luck here. Uh, I do feel like this has a lot to do with your journey, both love, business, health, and, uh, you know, family and finances. I feel like it has, it's a journey. Okay, elephants, kind of, you know, they go on long journeys. So this, this uh, power animal is telling me that there's a journey ahead of you, but it, it, it's either physical or it's mental. It's one or the other. So it might be through meditation. It might be through some spiritual journey. Or it could be physical. Or it could be both. Um, but it's a long journey. And, and here I've got the Fool card. Telling me something new is beginning for Sagittarius. And then it's going to leave you. It's going to leave you a lot wiser at the end. Alright. Thank you Sagittarius for listening. Um, I wish you all a fantastic October. Much love and blessings to all of you.